Hey, hello. So today we're going to be looking at using green screen with a video material. So firstly, we're just going to sort of go over this whole process step by step. So just created a movies folder in my content and that's all I've done so far. Well, if I open the asset, if I open a folder, I've also imported three videos into here, three videos. And one of them is the video which I'm going to play. And this has got an alpha channel on it. I exported it with an alpha channel and this one is the same video with green screen behind it and as you can see between the two different two videos there is a massive amount of memory difference. Massive amount of memory difference. So I was looking into how we could sort of still have all the fun of the video but you know the benefit of that. So inside the movies, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import and find the file, which I'm going to call new quest. And also, like I say, it's just a duplicate, it's just a copy of you. I just want to demonstrate the file size difference. So I've just imported this. And if we double click it to open it, what we're going to do is we're going to just pre-cache the video. And we're also going to go to right click and I'm going to media and we're going to get create a media player. Now it's just the vi video I want. I'm not using any audio of this. So I'm going to call this new quest player, new quest player. And if I double click, hey, I thought it didn't work for a second then. As we can see, the video is now playing. And just for sort of sake of test for now, I'm going to have this looping so we can see it. And we have this quick side note while we're in here. This does have a chroma key setting, but I messed with that for a while and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. So I'm not bothering with that. So I'm going to just create a new material from this. And this is a new quest material. And here we go. It's, it's sort of going to show default as black. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of set this up real quick to play. Now, I'm going to want this to work on a widget. So I'm going to go user interface, or you could do it as a material in level blueprint. It doesn't really matter sort of how you want to do this. Um, new quest widget. Oops. No, it doesn't really matter. And just create a new widget. And inside here, I'm going to go image and drag on an image to my scene. And again, for sort of sake of test, let's just grab this like these. We're going to need to go back into our material and tell this it's a user interface material. Save it. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast. If you do want a slow, more detailed version of this, I have done a video on this in the past on how we create one of these and set this up. Not with a green screen, but you know, just start loading and playing a video. So I'm just creating a variable, which is a media player and a media player. Now, important, we need to sort of compile it and then go down and choose. the only media file we have. Cool, and now we've got this, we just need to say on construct, get on construct, open source, and select again, select the video that we're gonna play, and hit compile and save. And really quick, let's just add this to the level blueprint. So, um, what we're going to need to do is we need to create a widget. And this is going to be our new quest widget. And we'll just add to display. Add to viewport, sorry. Cool. Compile, compile, save. Move set away. Let's see if a widget pops up. It does. It's not playing now. Why is it not playing? Problem with widgets in Unreal is stupid. Let's see what's going on here. 
maybe it's because I've not saved all so file save all and let's just double check that everything's working so if we open this let's double click and our problem for whatever reason is our video what this was working a minute ago oh and it's working now maybe it just sort of needs a bit of time to process so this is green it should update our texture file there which then in turn should update our thing which for whatever reason is not connected maybe i should have seen that okay that seems to be sort of good that's good let's just press play make sure this works hey so there we go we're at the point now where we have the green screen and like i was sort of saying earlier if in this position we had used the alpha channel then we could have simply just dragged off here and put in the opacity mask and we can export those if you really don't care about file size or maybe you know a better way than I do out of um, After Effects or Premiere or whatever you're using exports like an AVI including your RGB and Alpha but the problem with that is if again if I open the movie is this right here my AVI file is bloody huge 250 meg on a video is just not appropriate whereas my compressed version my mp4 much better you know what done with you guys my demonstration is done um here what we're going to need to sort of sell this part though is first of all it's thought to be masked is we're going to want a chroma key so there's a nice feature here that i think only sort of pops across it's like 4.14 or something around there we have this chroma key option and our alpha channel here is going to go into our opacity mask so let's just sort of set this up so this is our image goal nice and obvious our image goal. this here we need to tell it the color of our green and as far as i'm aware i can't don't know an easy way to sort of pipette that we could take our video into photoshop or we could sort of edit it that way any sort of which way you know to sort of get the green code information as I sort of already made this in After Effects I already happen to know that I believe it's 13185 so pretty green even though it looks yellow it's green and that is our chroma key but we have a couple more values we can sort of play with and again if you know if your green's not consistent especially if you're working with video because mine is an absolute solid green it's totally just a mask because i'm using this for a user interface i know that it's green consistently but if you sort of lit it yourself you might have to play a bit more around with these values and for sort of sake of test so these are some like nice figures you sort of want to be loosely around here and let's hit save and see if this works. So now if I press play, a video comes up and it works how we would like it to. Should we see if it'll work on a cube even though it's the wrong kind of material? Maybe it will. I mean, we'd have to play it in the level blueprint, but let's give it a go anyway. Let's find out, shall we? Hey, it did. It totally worked on a thing as well. I suppose because we're loading the widget on level blueprint, that's already loading the video, so we don't need to load the video twice, is what we're saying. But there you go, guys. That's using the chroma key material on a video material that we can then apply to our widgets, to our objects on our level, and we can sometimes, I mean, personally, I find it a lot easier to create nice... Um, user interface elements and stuff like that in like After Effects and uh, other more 2D based programs and it can be hard to sometimes translate that into the video so this is a nice way of doing that I hope you found that useful if you have please just drop a like on this video always appreciate that or maybe even drop a comment but with that said 
thank you for your time thanks for watching the video and take care